Now, some bearish things uh, that have popped up on the charts here. We are uh, we have confirmed a red dot on the 16 hour. Now, you know, looking at market cipher B here. Let me min minimize this to get a better look. Uh, now, one thing to realize here, you know, uh, it, we did the VWAP did come below the zero line, but it is also, you know, kind of just coming right back up to cross uh, above the zero line there. So maybe this doesn't play out as much as they typically do because, you know, last time uh, we got a crossover here, we had a big downfall, right? So uh, this typically happens on the 16 hour with these red dots. They're pretty strong. Um, but the fact that it's coming right back up might show that it's not uh, as powerful, but Obviously, before the candle closes, we can get rejected at the zero line and keep coming down here. So just want to put that on your radar. 16-hour red dot, uh, not really the most bullish sign. Um, and yeah, you could see here on the 12-hour kind of foreshadowing that we might get, uh, you know, we might get that crossover is you found support with the VWAP and you're now starting to come up. Your money flow is starting to curve up the tiniest bit here. Uh, coming down to the four-hour, right? Kind of holding this level as support now. Uh, money flow getting pretty close to crossing over here, uh, you know, creeping up towards that zero line. If we can get a crossover on the four hour into uh, the green with the money flow, uh, we could see a decent move to the upside, hopefully. But you want to remember we're in a bear market. Uh, you don't want to get ahead of yourself here. Uh, and then just some levels for you guys to watch. Uh, you know, we're kind of just like I said, really not much to talk about on the charts right now. Other than that 16 hour red dot, keep an eye on that. It could uh, be bearish, but um, you know, we're kind of just going sideways at this point. Um, so uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I, you know, levels I would watch if we fall. I mean, my worst case, my, my worst case scenario for the short term would be coming back down to the bottom of this box. And that is coming in at about 18,950. Uh, probably gonna be worst case short term. And then, uh, you know, local resistance right above you. Here is at about 21,540, right? We have a spider line there. They are typically strong. As you can see, we've gotten rejected already once. 18K Bitcoin, that's yummy. Yes. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a buy zone. That's a buy zone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully, um, you know, I hope we don't just range sideways. As you guys know, typically we get these big moves down and then we range sideways. As you can see, uh, if you zoom out, right? Yep. Big Look move down. Just kind of uh, consolidation, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, creates somewhat of a bear flag here. That's why I always tell my people, the Candle Mafia on my channel, keep things simple. Yeah, I know Market Cipher looks confusing, um, but listen, you could stick to uh, pretty simple stuff here. This creates a little bit of a bear flag, and then you continue to the downside, right? So you come down, bye bye. consolidate, and down. <laughs> yeah, remember what we were talking about just before the show, like, just embrace the suck. Embrace the suck, guys. It's okay for the price to go down. It's the biggest opportunity that you're going to have to get into crypto.